Today, the trial started for the man who raped a 15-year-old girl and then allegedly killed her before she could testify against him. 24-hour News 8's Barton Dieters was there for the testimony. He's live with what happened today. Barton? Right, it was a rough day for the aunt and mother of Muje Dumbuya as they heard and saw graphic testimony and sat only a few feet away from the man they believe raped and murdered their beloved teen. The mother brought her three-year-old daughter to Kentwood as a refugee from war-ravaged Sierra Leone, thinking she had finally given her a safe place to live. Now she takes the stand to testify in the trial of Quinn James, the man already sentenced to 20 to 30 years in prison for the girl's rape, who now faces life in prison for her homicide. The mom said Muje kept losing her cell phone, so she was without one when she left the house on January 24th, yelling goodbye to her mother and asking for money for coffee. The defense is contending that the girl ran away from home and went to Kalamazoo, where she met her unknown killer. Before Mujay was killed, have you ever been to Kalamazoo, Michigan? No. To your knowledge, had Mujay or any other family members been to Kalamazoo, Michigan? No. Her aunt said her niece was careful to always call home and keep her mom informed of where she was. Today, the jury heard from the Western Michigan University students who stumbled across her body. I thought it was a pile of clothes at first is what I initially thought. And then after getting closer and seeing what it was is when I came to the realization that it was a person. A forensic scene analyst testified that the clothes showed discoloration from bleach and that there was a strong smell of bleach on her clothes. I realized that it was a young female uh, who was not moving. I attempted to um, wake her or to see what her condition was by grabbing her arm. I noticed that her arm was extremely cold and extremely stiff, and I noticed that she was not breathing. Now tomorrow we'll be hearing more evidence, including the cell phone trail that prosecutors show, say shows that Quinn James was stalking the girl before he abducted and killed her. Live in the Kent County Courthouse, Barton Dieters, 24-hour News 8.